Hi Aries, you need to know this right now for February the 27th through February the 28th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 27th through February the 28th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 27th through February the 28th, 2024. Universal Energies, show me what I need to see for the star sign of Aries for February the 27th through February the 28th, 2024. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at herimmortalmajesty at gmail.com. So, Aries. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Aries. Aries, you have the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something, someone being deceptive, someone strategically devising a plan of action, someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Aries, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Aries. Clarify the Seven of Swords for Aries. It is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leora Sag, this is you being guarded and standing your ground. You have a stance. You meant what you said. You said what you meant. You're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of you saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of you having your walls up, your guards up. You're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here so Aries you can tell me that you're highly suspicious you have your guard up you don't trust you can tell me that you're guarding something you can tell me that you're going to be persistent or you're standing your ground now Aries listen you can tell me you have your guard up all the way up you don't trust this person there's been some type of deception here Aries you can tell me that you're being sneaky here and you're guarding something Aries, you can tell me that you have your wall all the way up. Maybe you're guarding something because you're being strategic here. Wanting to make some type of strategic move. Aries, you have the two of wands. Aries, Leora Sag. This is you being at a crossroads. Needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I? Will I, won't I? So Aries, you're at a crossroads. Needing to decide. Needing to pick a path here. Clarify the two of wands. For Aries, clarify the two of wands. For Aries, clarify the two of wands. For Aries, it is clarified with the seven of wands. Aries, Leora Sag, this is you being defensive. You're on the defense, but this can also speak to you being put in a position where you're having to defend yourself against rumors, gossip, and other people's opinions. Now, this can be you shunning someone, fighting someone off, setting boundaries with someone. But this is also an accusatory card. So you could be being accused of some type of rumors and gossip, and you're giving your defense or excuse here. So Aries, you can tell me that you're stand off of shunning and setting boundaries, or you're trying to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense here. Now, you could be at a crossroads wanting to come in and explain, give your explanation, excuse, or defense, or if you were keeping some type of deception hidden and maybe you're wanting to come clean. Or Aries, you're kind of stand off of shunning and setting boundaries and trying to figure out where to go from here because this was their deception. 
Aries. You have the Eight of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is mastering your craft, perfecting your skills, trades, and abilities. This is you throwing yourself into your work. But this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Aries, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that you're working on something, planning something, perfecting something here. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the Eight of Pentacles for Aries. It is clarified with the King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This king is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in the institution of marriage and family, someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. This could be a business owner, CEO, independent contractor, manager. So Aries could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aries. Clarify the King of Pentacles. For Aries, clarify the King of Pentacles. For Aries, it is clarified with the Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is making plans to meet up, making plans to partner up, to work together on a contract or a project. This is teamwork. This is collaboration. Now, this can speak to there being a third party involved, but this can also speak to you being willing to work on it or put in the work. So Aries, this could all be work or business. You can tell me that you're willing to work on it, willing to put in the work. You can tell me that this is some type of an agreement or a contract collaboration, or there's a third party. Aries, this could all be work or business, okay? Maybe you're feeling cheated here, Aries, and you're just wanting to go elsewhere. Aries, you can tell me that this is in you guys' commitment here. It very well could have been a third party because there has been some type of deception here. This person that you're in a commitment with may want to work things out with you because it was their deception. And you have to decide here, Aries. Or Aries, is you wanting to work things out with them because it was your deception. You had a third party. It was something that you were guarding here. And maybe you need to make a choice and stand by that. Maybe you're going to have to hurt someone here. Aries, you have the high priestess, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces. This is she who knows. She who knows. This is the keeper of the hidden secrets, keeper of the hidden knowledge. The universe is calling for you to use your intuition. But you may know something that you're keeping to yourself. Now, the high priestess keeps silent, so it's a good chance that you guys aren't speaking to one another. So Aries, you can tell me that you guys aren't speaking. You can tell me that you're using your intuition or you have a secret. Clarify the high priestess for Aries. Clarify the high priestess for Aries. Clarify the high priestess for Aries. It is clarified with the seven of cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is having many options, but all of these options aren't viable. Now, this can speak to confusion, wishful thinking, fantasy, illusions, but having many options. So, Aries, you can tell me you're all up in your head fantasizing. You can tell me there's some confusion. You can tell me that you need to make a choice. You can tell me that there was lies and illusions or the fact that someone had other options and explore some of those other options. Now, Aries, listen, you can tell me that you're using your intuition because you're needing to make a choice here. Aries, you can tell me that you're using your intuition that they are coming with lies and illusions or the fact that they had other options. It was their deception. Or Aries, you yourself were being deceptive, okay, with maybe some type of lies or illusions and other options. Aries, you have the Six of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from your past, flashback from the past, full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from your past is back. Now, you can be reminiscing on someone from your past, remembering someone from your past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. 
So Aries, you can tell me that you're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite with this person from your past. You can tell me that someone from your past is in the picture. Someone from their past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries. It is clarified with the Ten of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is you feeling backstabbed and betrayed, humiliated, devastated, completely let down, completely let down. This is a 10, so this is an ending, an ending in betrayal. So Aries, you're feeling a sense of betrayal, let down, and devastation here. However, in tarot, tens are ending, so you could be coming up out of feeling a sense of betrayal. You know, Aries, they could have, have portrayed you. And it could have been someone from their past in the picture. This is the other options that they had. They were sneaking around with a third party, someone from their past. Aries, I hope there was no betrayal concerning children here. Mm -mm. Aries, you can tell me that something from the past was brought back up here and you're discovering this betrayal. Aries, it could also be your betrayal that took place in the past that is being brought back up here. Okay. Like I said, it could be you wanting to work things out with them, wanting to come in and explain, you know, some type of deception that you were hiding or guarding here, Aries. I'm going to take a look at the situation ship for you, Aries. Now, this is just additional messages here. You guys, subscribe to my new channel, Omega333 Tarot. That's Omega333 Tarot. Thank you, Aries. And it says, love, adore, admire, enchantment. Love, adore, admire, enchantment. Mm. Hmm. What else for Aries? What else for Aries? And it says, cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. Cleansing, meditation, clearing space, removing negativity. Huh. If you're interested in a private reading, you can reach me at her immortal majesty at gmail.com. Aries, you need to know this right now for February the 27th through February the 28th, 2024. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share. And follow me on Twitter at Her Immortal Madge, M-A-J. And I'll see you guys next week. Peace.